that's just a black screen of death. E excuse me? Excuse me, where's my, where's my shit? Here, you wanna, no, you don't want the latch? Why, why is it just darkness? Oh, there we go. Now it's, oh, wait, what? Uh, is my, is my OBS drunk? OBS, are you okay, buddy? You feeling all right? Well, looks like it's fine. But for whatever reason, on this screen, it's just nothing. Oh, oh, no. Excuse me. No, no, don't, don't hip hop me. I'm trying to diagnose my shit. It is broken and... Okay, well, something's not working properly. Okay, right now it's in the thingy. There only should be... Wait, what the? No, that's not what I'm looking for. You. Yes, you. I know Chrome was the only one on. Uh, background, happy Valentine's Day. I am very small, yes. Why is it not doing the thing I want it to? Like, if I do it like this, it now it's just a white screen of death. Uh, can you guys see anything or am I just going insane? If I leave it like this, you could see the screen just fine, right? Yeah? Maybe I have to open up my own Twitch. You can see Lover Watch. Okay, if I go over to this, do you see a black screen of death? I think so. Well, that's the thing. On my side, it's a black... Oh. Okay, so I have to stay on studio mode because it is dumb. Okay, well, in the meantime, here you go, Silver. You can have your little tiny window. Uh, don't, nope. Do not close applications. There, OBS real smart. Yes. Time to go. Hey, you didn't want to want it, Silver. I'm just delivering what you, you would requested. I'm confused. Why are you upset about this clip in particular? Did you get one of your homies killed? Alright, uh, creating clip. <laughs> what? So you did it to yourself? I'm assuming you did it to yourself. Okay, well, uh, welcome to cringe. This year is love. Okay, can I like scroll just? Oh, love is in the air for ultimate Valentine's. Get the legendary Cupid Hanzo bundle for limited time. Thanks. You did not hear it. I cannot. It is too small for my tiny puny ears. Well, there he is. In all of his titty glory. How do... Okay, I have a question. He has two tits, right? So, um, is the rope just awkwardly rubbing on his tit the whole time he's wearing the costume? Because it sounds like it would be uncomfortable. Okay, well, rewards? No idea. Credits? Uh... Oh, okay. Apparently there was more than one person doing... Wait, is it just Blizzard? No, there's there's another guy. Psyop. This here is hell. That would, uh, would hurt so bad. Ah, oh, yes. You can get rope burn on your titty. Darn it. Okay, it's gonna take me a while to sound like Hanzo properly. All I know is he is just sad. Angy. Talks about honor. Like every fucking second is like uh, this is this is how you diagnose Hanzo's. That and they like to shoot from the alleyway. See, I told you it is bad. I I can't do it, and my vocal range is not made for doing low people voices, especially Hanzo's. <laughs> okay, what is this hell? I don't want to date Genji or Mercy. If anything, I want to eat myself off of a window. Ah, the official but non canon Overwatch 2 dating sim. Except no substitutions unless they're like really good. Are you ready to play this thing? No! First, tell me what non canon means. Oh, yes, please elaborate to me about how smart you are, video game. We're glad you asked. Basically, there are parts of Overwatch's story that are real, and other parts that are hypothetical. This dating sim is one of those hypotheticals, non-canon stories. Like if Wrecking Ball and Tracer talked about how they both love cheeseburgers before a PvP match. It's like, ah, love, do you like cheeseburgers? It's like, yes. <gasps> the hamster can speak. It's like, I, I definitely can't do Tracer's accent. I know it's like some sort of British, but my brain is like, no, that is even worse. I can barely deal with those two. The Hanzo and the fucking Genji. It's like, 
Ah, uh, I need healing. No. Can I please have healing? No. Oh, and Tracer and Wrecking Ball may love cheeseburgers. They just never met officially and actually had that conversation. Not yet, anyways. Also, this dating sim kicks down the fourth wall and stomps all over it with its muddy boots. I fucking hate this. Does that answer your question? No. Almost. Are you saying that I should enjoy this thing and not rush off to update the fan wikis with anything I read here? Oh my god. Whatever shall I do if I am that kind of person? We couldn't have said it better ourselves. Uh... <laughs> uh, is there anything else or am I stuck looking at a bunch of hearts? Oh. Ah, uh, am I also portraying the <laughs> canon version of me? It's like, oh my god, am I actually canonical or what? The the fan wikis are gonna have uh, <laughs> his trivia stuff. It's like, oh my god, so like, Genji and Mercy went off to talk with each other and ate coffee while they were off beating up some poor sap in the alleyway. It was so romantic! They were like holding blades and gun with each other and stuff. It's like Genji comes over. It's like, ah, Mercy, do you want to like touch weapons with each other? And Mercy's like, oh my god, yes. It's like, please, no. That's um, that's up to you, really. This is getting a little too meta for us, and we wrote this. Yeah, yeah. It's like they they, they touch stick. It's like, ah. Mercy. Oh, wait, wait, that's not. No, he, he calls her Angela. I'm already doing a fucking terrible job. I'm not even being paid for this. I was like, Angela, would you like to touch swords with me? I was like, oh, Genji. I don't really have a sword, but I do have this stick. It's like, ah, oh, yes, we can use that. We can touch stick with each other. Is that okay with you? It's like, oh, of course, Kenji. <laughs> and then they just like, Percy whips out her fucking stick from nowhere, and Genji's like, pulls out his blade, and then they just like, casually touch on each other. It's like, ah, It's like they are making love. I said, like, oh, we couldn't make love right now, Genji. But we are out in the middle of nowhere, Merce. Angela, <laughs> are you sure this is okay? It's like, it's fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with doing some casual wee wee while doing a mission. Okay, fine, fine. Let's get this pretend plaything started in. What's my name? I don't know. Cringe. Cringing on the inside. I'm dying. The Reaper. <laughs> it's like, Reaper just watching these two is like, <laughs> then he just goes bye bye. <laughs> I don't know. What do I even name myself? Because I don't want to date either of them. Like I'm fine with they're dating each other, and I'm like their awkward third wheel. Reaper looking for a reason to begin blasting. It's like die. <laughs> he just starts pulling out his pistols. And Wait, he doesn't use pistols. I mean, I guess he could steal all of Cass's pistols. It's like I'm borrowing this. Hey. Those are mine! No, I need them to kill. And then he just like throws all of Cass's pistols on the floor. He's like, man, th that's just wasteful. Why are you doing this? Because I can't. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just gonna call myself cringe. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna be at the. Ah, your name is cringe! Continue! Yeah, I guess so. Wait, why is the clicking thing not working? Uh, there we go. Well, you're gonna lurk? Okay. It's Friday night in this big city. Could You could use a laugh after the week you had. The Laugh Addict is one of the most tragically unfunny comedy clubs in town, but you love watching the people bomb on open mic. Sometimes, that people is you. <laughs> it's particularly dark tonight, so... Dark, it makes for quite the dramatic reveal when your eyes adjust and you see who's sitting at the table in the corner. Eyes adjusting. Adjusting. <laughs> adjusting. Oh my. Oh, oh my. Is, is that... Is that who you think it is? Why are there only two options? 
Hi, um, can I date Roadhog? Just so he will have an excuse to leave me. It's like, I'm done with this. And he just leaves. It's like, thanks, Roadhog. The game is over. Perfect. Why are there only two options? What if I wanted to see just as a thorough random example, Soldier 70... Oh, wait, that's me. Fuck. <laughs> oh, whoa, pace yourself there. You haven't even seen your first date yet. Two options are plenty for now, and maybe we'll add more dating sim opportunities in the future. We're not saying this is some kind of test version of a potentially more robust dating adventure. Dude, DVD already did it, and they did a pretty good job, all things to Hi Yuri. They did a pretty good job. And it, you know, it looks good. It is compelling. I did not play it, but I definitely watched someone do it. It's nice when you got someone to read the words for you, so that way you don't have to read them yourself. You just have to listen. But we're not not saying that now. Who do you see in that corner? Uh, why can't can I just be the third wheel? I just rather be the third wheel. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna. Eh. Oh, apparently it's mercy. It's mercy. Genius doctor, genius scientist, genius inventor. No matter how many times you blink, she's still there. And you completely starstruck, love struck, pain struck. Pain! Oh, she does blink though. Oh. Pain struck. Being in the presence of a genius doctor has reminded you of the pain in your stomach that you've been experiencing for the last couple months. Uh, okay. You should probably get that checked out. It hurts worse with all that butterflies you feel looking at her. Uh, I don't know if those are butterflies. Maybe they're like death moths. Or maybe the moths from the fucking back rooms. Ow! 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 Get this man out of my screen! Hark! Do I hear the sound of a heart beating fast and smell of sweat on your palms? <laughs> I can't, I can't do his accent properly and I'm already feeling I am Cupid, the hero of love and its varieties. It is my sworn duty to answer the cries of all who desires to love <laughs> oh, no. and guide them to fulfillment. You look around, wondering if anyone else can see this, or if you're hallucinating. Hanzo, shoot me in the fucking head right now! Do not worry, you are the only one who could see me. I do not interfere with the mortal realm. Consider me the angel on your shoulder, who will point you to the right direction. Okay, that's definitely maybe on a hallucination thing. But maybe this hallucination can help you. Now tell me, are you in love? No! I think so. No, no, it's just baseline anxiety. Hold up. You're not Cupid, you're just Hanzo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Hanzo, get out! Hold up, you're, you're not Cupid, you're just Hanzo. From the free-to-play game goes a rush to... I don't like that part of thing. Ah, yes! Time to insert ourselves! Did you know we're a free-to-play game? And you can play our game today by downloading it off Blizzard's website. Go to Battle.net.com and- Wait, no, that's just why. I forgot, it's already Battle.net. You don't need the .com. I don't even know where Battle.net.com goes to. Or maybe it's like Battle.net GG easy save my fucking ass. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, you know what? I don't even care if Fox tries to pat me. Which I have, of course, played because I recognize you as Hanzo Shibata. I, I don't know. I mean, even if someone hasn't played Overwatch, we'll probably go like, mm, what the fuck is with this quote unquote hot stud? Look at his rippling abs. Why is it we do not have this in game? At least it's better than Genshin's standards of rippling abs. I get that a lot. But no matter how similar I am to the character in Overwatch, rest assured I am Cupid, champion of love. However, 
It is entirely possible that Hanzo Shimata will have a skin based on the Yuna fucking shop. Thanks for the self insert. That is a coincidence. Indeed. Now tell me, are you feeling the signs of love? No. That's just my anxiety. No. Anxiety and affection can sometimes feel similar. But do not fear. I am here to guide you through all of the love's intricacies. Fuck. Hi, you AE. Welcome to hell. So, do you wish to win the heart of a mercy? Ah, uh, yes. I want to get me a mercy e-girl so she can pocket my ass. Yeah, this is just bringing all kinds of cringe. It's like, hi, so you know this bucket of cringe? I have loads of it! Uh, was there another option? Hello, can I date your brother? There was not anymore. We deleted your brother! Okay. <laughs> okay, that's weirdly ominous. Ah, uh, yes, I love having Doki Doki Literature Club level of meta. It's like, ah, uh, you see, when you did not choose my brother, you inevitably deleted my quote-unquote brother, who is not my brother, because I am not Hanzo Shimada. Where the fuck is Genji? I am not sure of who you call the Genji, but I have a weird recollection that he keeps spamming the lines, I need healing. A little too much. Uh huh, uh huh. I will not ask again. Do you wish to win the heart of mercy? Fine! Yeah, sure, why not? He, he arches his eyebrows. To win her heart, you must arm yourself with knowledge. A power of knowledge. Oh, you can't stay. You only can't. That's okay, UA. If you gotta go, it's alright. Thank you for stopping by as little as you have or as much as you had. I cannot talk anymore because Hanzo is taking all of my brain cells. How much do you really know about Mercy? Uh. Wait. Is he actually setting up a trivia quiz here? I am waiting. Why, why are there trivia questions and important to answer about how to like Mercy? Oh yeah, she likes Swiss chocolate. She doesn't like violence. She happens to carry a pistol around! It's like, ah. No, please, no pun. Uh, my unparalleled knowledge on Mercy because I am definitely not up for the hots for her. Can I look this thing up on the <laughs> Overwatch fan wiki first? No. Why do I need to fucking know her? Why? I expected more from the champion to love than dating sim tropes. If you prefer, I, we could test your knowledge of medical science! Help! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I gotta admit, that is a pretty nice expression he has there. It's like, are you trying to test my patience? I will fucking hit you with my motherfucking bow if you don't shut the fuck up and do my fucking trivia. Yeah, dude. Maybe you should. I might surprise you. No, this is like. Wait, is Pokemon that knows? No, Poke just knows stuff about science, and I think Wolves is the one that normally knows stuff about actual medical science. Or perhaps we should discuss something more nebulous, like why No Sector is attacking the world in the upcoming Zord. Okay, how much of this is an advertisement? I haven't even gotten to date Mercy yet. Can I get some booze from the back, please? Uh, the Overwatch development team still hasn't released those details yet. That's not fair. Hmm, true. Do you know what might be fair, then? Trivia! Trivia about Mercy would be fair. Even if it is... Some might say a trope. Uh, can I look this up? Can I look this up on the wiki? I'm only doing this to piss you off. Oh. Okay, you lady, be free. You cannot now. What is Mercy's real name? <laughs> ah, she will be Mrs. Cringe. I'm not done with her. Sure, let's go with that. 
Yeah, yeah, I want her to be cringy too. Incorrect. Her real name is Dr. Angela Ziegler. Do you want to forget the doctor? Uh, uh, Angela like Angel. I just got that. Wow. May the gods of mercy upon you. What is her favorite food? Uh, the tears of careless DPS heroes. Absolutely. That's quite dark. I don't know, you're one of those crying DPS heroes as well, Hanzo. Don't think that you're not an excuse for it. Look at the fucking Genji. The Genji is going AWOL, occasionally going to the backline, dying in the backline. And you know what Mercy has to deal with? His dead ass. I like that. No! She will not do better. What is Dr. Ziegler's field of research? Biology, healing, she has a PhD in Heroes Never Dies. Um, she, that's rigged. There's no right answers. <laughs> uh, oh wait, pioneer into biotic technology, which is a field in applied nanobiology. And then she got her MD and PhD in Switzerland. At a ridiculously young age. She also became the head of surgery at a prominent Swiss hospital. Again, at a ridiculously young age. If you are so knowledgeable, illuminate me then. What would impress such a highly accomplished woman? I am pretty nice person. Hi, I'm a nice guy, so I should be with Mercy. And I am like the perfect guy for Mercy, even though I'm not a guy, but whatever. I'm really funny. I'll tell her how many hours I locked in the Overwatch. Can't I just say hi? Ah, uh, yes, Mercy, look at how much I made you. This means that I sip for you, definitely. Impressive! Say it loud and proud with this. Oh god. Hi, Mercy! So I've been playing you for like, I don't know, probably like nearly 300 hours, but I'm not there yet, but I'm definitely getting there. Uh, he, he hands you a mic, the mic that I use for open mic at the Laugh Attic. Oh god. <clears throat> the spotlight illuminates you. And Mercy turns her head, and she's looking at you. Mm. Uh, hey, I guess how many hours I clocked in the Overwatch too. The crowd clears their throats. Chairs squeak. Oh god, Chibi Hanzo looks awful. I don't think people got the joke. Uh, it wasn't a joke. I know, but this is a comedy club. We're hopeful fools tell jokes. And she is waiting. Okay, here goes nothing. Um... Ew! Oh, god. This is awful. It's like, hey, you want to hear my favorite joke about the periodic table? So I'm essentially being wizard. Or why does surgeon like operating on elbows? Uh... Hey, hey, look, I'm Winston now. Do you want to hear my favorite... Wait, do you want to hear my favorite about the... Wait... Wait, favorite? I thought he usually says joke about the periodic table. Okay. Uh. Nah. <laughs> uh, you put. You put the mic down. Wait, you put. Wait, you put the. Uh. This is what I got for talking for too long. <laughs> and I'm not even done with the fucking game. <laughs> Give me a second while I try to replenish my water. <laughs> Yeah, closing up. Uh. Huh. You put the mic back and sit down. You should have known. Only a space gorilla scientist could pull off that joke. Mercy stands head over... Wait, stands and heads over to you. Oh no, your heart is going doki doki, isn't it? Why is she coming over? Was your joke that bad? It wasn't even your joke, though. Maybe she'll scold you for plagiarizing. Hello. Um. Hey, Salty! <laughs> Technically, um, sodium chloride is a salt. Sodium is simply a mineral. I know, I was just rifting off about your punchline that you stole from me. 
Oh, damn. She narrows her eyes, scrutinizing you. She probably measuring your heart rate, which is escalating. A warm smile spreads on her face. That is true. I apologize for that. I periodically like to make chemistry jokes. And... Ah, you're funny and... You're smart and funny, OP. <laughs> ah, yes, I love making weird cringy commentary that sounds like gamers. Mobility and overpowered are not the same thing. Writers know Mercy was not meta at the time of writing this. Please be merciful if she is by the time the sim releases. That was supposed to be a compliment. I know. I'm just tired of being admired. Tired of love and uninspired. Was that a reference? Yes, I'm surprised this made its past revisions. I'm surprised this dating sim even exists. <laughs> Indeed, that too. Speaking of dating sims, we should probably proceed to the next date. I was thinking something fun like a dinner at the fancy restaurant. Uh, okay, sure. Mercy smiles. You could die happy right now and she would just resurrect you back. Fantastic. I would meet you at the Cafe Asia at the Circuit Real F. Okay, bye bye. I can't do your accent properly, so I butchered most of these words. And she walks. No, floats away. You can't believe it. You're going with the dinner. Wait, you're gonna have a dinner with Mercy tomorrow at... Wait a minute. Circle Royale? That's not in Midtown. If you want to make it in time for dinner tomorrow, you better queue up now. <laughs> I hate this. How do you think things went, Hanzo? There is no room for improvement. Wait, there is room for improvement. Oh, oh my, I, met, I butchered that one. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. You're Hanzo. I'm not sorry. There is room for improvement. Concentrate less on your discomfort and more on her. The first date is finished, but the journey ahead is long and fraught with peril. We will endure these trials together. Okay. Uh, can I just like stay in Midtown? It's like, oh, no. how the fuck? Oh. How the fuck did we get over here? Luckily, the hopeful future of Overwatch has a reasonably priced transatlantic train, and you arrive in Monaco in a few short hours. Supercars zip by in the distance. The aroma of a high-end dinner wafts from nearby tables. The menu in front. Wait, the menu is in front of you, and you're cursing yourself for skipping the French class all those years ago. It's exactly three minutes and two seconds past the time of your dinner date. And Mercy is still nowhere to be found. Maybe she changed her mind. Maybe there's an international crisis somewhere that she has to go. Maybe. Maybe she is just running fashionably late. Three minutes and 57 seconds. Four minutes and 19 seconds. She must hate you. No, you No. Are you gonna eat the breadsticks or let them sit there? You can have them, Hanzo. I never took you to be a breadsticks guy, but fine, take it. See what I care. It's not like my feelings matter. <laughs> I am so sorry. She is flustered having rushed over here. She can GA. She, she's fine. Except her GA's all fucked up, so I guess... The... I was working on a new dissertation, and I wasn't keeping track of the time. I got here as fast as I could. Could... could... Uh, uh, accents are weird. Do forgive me. It happens to the best of us. If only... Uh, only if I get a special thanks in your dissertation. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, I stood up this hot... Uh, hot bod... Rod... I don't know, car... No, no, car is rod, right? Yeah, yeah, it stood this guy up and uh, definitely helped me with my writing. Paper stuff. That's my mercy. Happens to the best of us. Well handled. Really, shouldn't I be honest and tell her I almost had a meltdown? 
Considering saving that in the dessert course. Mercy smiles and sits down. Have you ordered yet? This place does have a fabulous beignet of fleurs of kakaka corgis. <laughs> there, <laughs> we're eating corgis tonight. Oh god, the animal activists are gonna come after me. Fried zucchini flowers. You take a deep breath, nod, and look back at the menu. I want the chicken nuggies! <laughs> you ordered the chicken nuggets? I hope they have dinosaur chicken nuggets. <laughs> you remind me of a friend I had. He also likes chicken nuggets that were shaped like dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Chicken nuggies! The chicken nuggets arrive. They're soggy, but they look like brontosauruses. You can... Wait. So you give the chef your compliments. I don't know. It could be fancier. Silence falls on you two... Wait. Falls as you two eat. That awkward bit during dinner dates where you can't decide if you should converse or eat. Or talk while eating. And risk... Spraying your date with freshly chewed food. Ah, yes, everyone's favorite ASMR cake. Eating at dinner with a guy with their mouth full, eating and talking, so they spray their food into your face. Nothing like some fresh food particles to show that you love them. Keep it groans. Are you truly such an amateur? Start a conversation. No. What do I talk about? Something about her. Uh, that's a station sound. No, that sounds boring. My hobbies. So, what have you been doing since Overwatch went bye bye? <laughs> nothing. Oh, nothing. Nothing of note. Uh, do you miss it? The missions? The adventure? I'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind. Well done. You fucked it up. <laughs> I would change the subject to something more positive. Um, what about a being a hero? You know, no one believes me when I say that that is not the great way. That's not as great as people think. Oh, oh God! I hey, we did it! We made the mercy the first. The world saw me as mercy, a guardian angel, noble and perfect. But I am also just Angela Ziegler. I am not perfect. And when the world saw that, saw me, they were disappointed. I don't mind being mercy. If the world needs her, I would still be there. But I wish. I wish they would also welcome Angela. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I need you, Angela. Bitch with your fork. Uh, so the, uh, yeah, yeah, I need you. I need healing, actually. She chokes on her... <laughs> she chokes on her... Oh, wait, she chokes on a sip of water, and the other patrons look over, oozing disdain at her gosh behavior. You discreetly slide a napkin towards her. You okay? Y yes, I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. You have a hard and sometimes your team does not appreciate you, which kind of sucks. Actually, it very much sucks. Hm. She looks down, face still pink. Thank you for saying that. It's nice to hear. I was wondering. I'm volunteering at a clinic in Cairo tomorrow. Would you like to see Angela saving the world? Cairo, Egypt? I literally can't miss it unless I stop here. She beams at you and soars away, leaving the lingering scent of perfection, well, perfect to you. Well, one way or another, the date is complete. Thanks so much. How did our night go? You have done moderately well so far, but you must consider your answers more carefully. She's gonna ditch my ass. It's like, mm, you, you awoken something within me. And it's called, I am not appreciated. And I, mean, I would like to stop being mercy. <laughs> uh, time for mercy to switch to another hero. <laughs> Maybe she'll just be mercy with a gun. But then again, she doesn't like gun. Unless somehow the non-canonical part is that she now wields guns. 
Would be nice if she dual wields guns, but I'm not entirely... Wait, does she have to, like, hold a gun with her bottom hand and the gun hand? Or can she just, like, you know, pistol pistol with the gun? Like, how does one hold a gun without two hands? Then again, I guess if one... Uh, hypothetically, if someone had only one hand, they could probably use a gun just fine. It's like, oh, my other hand is gone. But that's okay, I still have the gun hand. It would suck if they lost their gun hand, so now they're with stuck on the not gun hand. So now they have to retrain the not gun hand to be a gun hand. But there is still another date in your future. Do you... wait. Do what you can to prepare. I sense that this one will be the most important of all. Okay, let's go. Third date. Glorb, no! Dude, I'm gonna lose my voice t reading this much in the wrong vocal ranges. There's like no time to waste. As soon as the airship touches down on Cairo, it was straight to the clinic. It's a modest clinic. Bright and clean, Angela hands you a pair of scrubs and she puts on a lab coat as she tends to her patients. As wait, you help as much as you can. Hallways, mop, paperwork filed and sorted, supply stock. You sit down in the break room exhausted. Angela enters and you straighten up immediately. You must be tired. I'll make you some coffee. Oh. Uh, why does the coffee look depressed? Oh. I mean, I don't drink coffee to begin with. Maybe I could just pour it into the plant. It's like, I'm so sorry, local cacti. You're a cactus, right? In Cairo? You know, here you go. Have some coffee. <laughs> she hands you a cup of something that looks like coffee. It smells like coffee, but it's definitely not quality coffee. Her genius does not extend to the Bristol arts if such a thing exists. Uh, make, make, make me another pot. Yours sounds like so harsh in a coffee thing. <laughs> I really want to insult her. I really do. But at the at the same time, it's like she did have a meltdown in front of me. It's like, ah, uh, I wish I was appreciated. Not as Mercy, but as Angela. But also, why is it her sprite didn't change? It's like she went into her lab coat, but it's like, wham! I'm still in the same outfit! But it says you're in a lab coat. This is my lab coat. This is not your lab coat! Yeah, I am. I, 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 I poured it, put the cup down discreetly. Uh, I don't know. I really want that. That is, I like weird comments. It, wait, did I already say hi to Shadow? Hello. Hmm. I I really want to click the last one. I really do, but at the same time, it's like, mm, I I'm, I'm actually being slightly more serious now. But I definitely want to drink it. You know what? Here, I'm just gonna. I don't drink coffee. Yes, here, you could go and date, um, fucking Mercy. Well, Hanzo judges your every move. Who's not Hanzo, by the way? He's just Cupid. Japanese Cupid. <laughs> you put the cup down discreetly? Thanks, it's real good. <sighs> you could have just said you didn't like it. Nothing escapes her. I'll try it in a bit later. Dude, I don't drink coffee! She nods and takes a sip from her own mug, and her nose crinkles at the taste. Well, I need to get back. She turns to leave and then stops. Everyone's been telling me that you've been of great help. Keep it up. She leaves and her compliment energizes you more than any cup of coffee. Dude, I, I, I think I need to get a water refill. Because, uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, I'll be right back. It's just a short break. I just need water. I need copious amounts of water.
Okay, hopefully the cough drop will allow me to keep reading it a decent con it consistency for a while. There we go. Oh. Hello, this bear. Welcome to, um, hell. Well, my voice is definitely dying. It's like, okay, apparently my soul is not the first to die. Apparently, it's my vocal cords. You try to copy and it's endearingly revolting. Go back to volunteering. You head back into the clinic lobby, picking out coffee grinds from your tea. Oh, oh no. Did I did I drink dirt water? Because it sounds like I drank dirt water with the dirt still in there. Wait, what the? What's this? You're quite the brave one. Is it Anna? You recognize that quiet wry voice? Wait, Riri? Ri? Ri! Like Theo. You turn around and it's. Hi, Anna. I don't know how to do Anna's voice. She's old. Hmm. No, no, no. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck her voice is like. Ah, oh, shit. I did not prepare for this. I only thought it was gonna be Genji, Mercy, and Hanzo, not fucking Anna. It's like no one, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't get into this vocal range that Anna lives in. It's like, I could kind of bullshit my way out of Hanzo, but I can't bullshit my way out of Anna. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll just give her old granny voice and call it a day. It's like, no one, no, no, nah, uh, no, I can't even. It's like, mm. it's like there's a lock, but I can't break into it. I could try to smash it open, but it doesn't do anything to it. Hmm. Yeah, no, no. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I mean, I could just... Yeah, no. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I guess sound like an old lady. Close enough. Oh, no one has experienced Angela's coffee and came out smiling the other end. Anna, Anna, Marita. Dude, I- I can't! It, it, her, her vocal range confuses me, it's like... Mature older woman! Wait a minute, that's not the way it just goes, it's like, ah yes, do you want hot, sexy Anna Amari? No, I definitely don't. Anna, the Anna Amari, legendary sniper, original Overwatch Strike Squad member, the bane of most of your matches? What is she doing here? Anna, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Oh, I'm always aching somewhere, you know that. And who is this? Oh, this is cringe, my... <laughs> oh, she's... Oh wait, she's blushes pink, mercy, pink. I'm on a date with Angela! I can't believe this volunteering stuff gives me Anna Amari. Maybe I should date an older woman instead. <laughs> Oh, I'm just helping her out. Ah, uh, just helping out? Is that alright? Uh, okay. She doesn't need any help, to be honest. I thought I would just take care of a little thing so she could focus on her patients. Hmm. Her eyes pierces you. You know those eyes. You've seen the world's most dangerous criminals and their final moments. I... I've always told Fareha to look for someone who helps her focus on the important things. I'm glad you found something... someone like that, Angela. It was nice me seeing you cringe. <laughs> oh, good. Now I don't have to figure out how to voice Anna anymore because I can't. Mm. Well, she leaves and Angela clears her throat and avoids eye contact with you. Um, I'll see you when the shift ends. You're alone, wondering what just happened? Well done! You have impressed um, Anna Amari! It's like, okay... <clears throat> Where the heck were you, Hanzo? Some mortals frighten even the gods themselves. The more important matter is that you impress a close friend. Anna's opinion of you will heavily influence your fate with Dr. Ziegler. And speaking of fate... Are you ready to see how your journey ends? 
Uh, I think I'm okay. Fine, sure, let's go for it. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. We will see. Oh, do you have a moment? I didn't want to talk about something with you. Okay. And you will lead you to the top of the wait, top floor of the clinic where the rooftop terrace with the stunning views of Cairo. Wow. Spigot. Oh wait, spigot. I know that. Well, she's not German, but I mean, way back when TF2 was launched, it's like, oh look, they have comparisons with the wait, not TF2. Overwatch to TF2. It's like, yeah, Mercy's just a stand-in for the medic from TF2 and he's German, but apparently Mercy's slightly different because from German and now she's Swiss. But she still sounds German. I guess because they have close roots with each other. Probably. It's like why Dutch sounds like German. Probably something like that. That's why Sigma and Ryan can kind of communicate with each other in their native tongue. Because they're kind of similar anyways. It's like, hey, hey. Spectacular, isn't it? I come here very often after a long shift. Uh, uh, you both take in the view of the city, the night sparkling orange from the setting sun, and the high-rise apartment, and freeways gather around its shores. So, what do you want to talk about? I wanted to thank you for all these last days together. You saw me for who I really am, and instead of judgment or expectations, you gave me humor, compassion, and kindness. That someone like you exists in this world, it makes me want to believe in a little... Wait, a little stronger, fight in... Wait, fight for it a little longer. I wanted to show you something. Take my hand. Come see this world from above, as I do in all of its beauty. Okay, except their friendship. You know what? No, no, we're going all the way. If we got this far, we're going all the way. Uh, I will go with you anywhere. And then Mercy starts singing, I will show you the world. Or something like that. Oh, wait, she changes outfit. The Valkyrie wings spread open. Angela takes your hand and you both soar in the clouds. I've done many heroes, but you have mine. Ah, you have embarked on the journey of love and found what you have desired in the end. Love may take many forms, but it is always true. May you cherish this love with mercy forever and always. Yay, I love you are... Wait, wait, what? How the fuck does this read? I love your heal. Oh. Wow, you don't even love me. You love my healing. I feel so... I don't know. Ah, renaming this reward may refresh the page. You may return to the screen. Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, Mercy loves you. Follow your heart's PS. Okay. Wait, is this for downloading stuff? Ah! Let me in! <laughs> no, I was like, ah, right, here's your authentication. Hey, now I have Mercy's thingy. Uh... Can I get my other... Oh, oh, Valentine. So that means I get the icon. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go deal with Genji now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no, just let me play. Mm. You know what? I shall name myself I Need Healing. In all caps. Wait, in all... Okay, apparently I'm not allowed to do all caps. Well, I need healing. <laughs> There you go. There's your new lover, Genji. You and your need to get healed. Continue? Yes. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a different icon if you fail a thing. Continue? Ah, yes. At Friday night, something, 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 something. Uh, uh, can I get my Genji? It's Genji! Ninja Cyborg, an all-around bad boy from Overwatch. Is he, though? He's like, confused boy for the most part. That he's finally wearing clothes. No matter how many times you blink, he's still there. And you are completely... Um... Uh, I fear his need to get healed. <laughs> oh. Fear struck. 
Why would anyone in their right mind allow a ninja with a giant katana in a comedy club? Well, it does sound like a beginning of a joke. Oh, he's like, yo! He's like, no! And the only thing funnier than this would be if his brother showed up wearing a toga. <laughs> and he does. Hark, do I hear the sounds of heart beating fast and the smell of sweat in your ar armpits? <laughs> I am Cupid, the hero of love and all of its varieties. I sworn duty to answer the cries of all who desire love and guide them to fulfillment. You look around wondering if anyone else can see this. Yes, yes, they don't. Do not worry, you are the only one who sees me. I do not interfere with the mortal realm. Consider me the angel on your shoulder. Who will point you to the right direction? Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, are you in love? Uh, sure, let's go with that. I think so, it's kinda hard to tell. You know, with my crippling need for healing. The path to love is often confusing, but not fear. I am here to guide you. Through all of its intricacies. What? It means I am gonna give you advice. Okay, sure. So, do you wish to win the heart of my brother? Now! <laughs> yes, now! Sure, I want to win the heart of a Genji main, so then I can pocket him. Genji, truly. I and mean, then there are only two options, as uh, you made sure I was fully aware of. Of course, I... It was just that, um... Uh, well, to call a Genji difficult would be an understatement. <laughs> okay, tell me, you know about your bro? Are you actually his bro? Did you happen to die and get resurrected as a fucking angel with the toga? She, she really judgmental for a vessel of love or whatever. Is it because of lore or something? The what? Oh, now he's depressed. The Overwatch lore. You know, Genji was the younger brother Hanzo killed and felt guilt ever since. Only Genji wasn't actually dead. He was alive, but a cyborg. And Hanzo learned this. But he was still kind of upset with the whole thing, I think. Cupid looks troubled. That summary heavily favors Genji's view on the matter, I feel. Yeah, I wonder why. You killed your bro. But no, I am merely saying that reaching Genji's heart will be a difficult task. Sure, whatever you say, Mr. Grumpy Toga. If you wish to pursue Genji, then I am obligated. It is your love life, no matter how foolish. Well then, how do you think I should approach, Cupid? You have... To introduce yourself, of course. You cannot start down the path of romance without first speaking to him. And given that he strikes me as selfish, immature person, I would recommend keeping your conversations focused on him. He has struggled with his sense of self, so do your best to appeal to his interests. Okay, well, uh, you hope he gets over his hostility for Genji soon, definitely. And not important right now, what's important is whether or not Genji has any hostility towards you. With Cupid's words in mind, you build up the courage to approach Genji. Uh, excuse me. Uh, the ninja turns to face you. The purple glow of the nightclub neon lights illuminates his metal mask. Oh, are you talking to me? Yeah, I saw you and I just want to say... Oh, your heart starts to pound in your ears and your mouth can't find the words to speak. Well, say something. You remember, your choices will affect how he feels about you. I like your outfit. You're finally not naked. Do you need healing? <laughs> yes, I want to ask you whether or not he needs healing. <laughs> Do you need healing? I know my reputation. It is hurtful. But also, yes, I could use healing. 
I warned you, he would be difficult to deal with. Anyways, I don't think I've seen you around before. I am Genji. What is your name? Uh, I am I Need Healing. Uh, nice to meet... Wait, I, I need... Yo, wait, I'm just... I need healing. Oh, I, I need healing. Nice to meet you, Genji. I... <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What the fuck is that? Oh, so that's how the oh, so it was real. That one, that one screen cap I saw was real. Oh, I need healing, huh? That's pretty cool. Reminds me of I need healing from the game I need healing Odyssey. Is that the real game? Oh wow, that's, I love that game! I know you're here. <laughs> Oh, I love that game. My parents were actually big fans. They named it after they named me after it. I've been playing since I was born. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, give the the fetus. Not even the infant. The fetus. Its own game console. So it can play video games. It will be blessed to become an esports player. That is amazing. I was just named after the 11th... Oh. <laughs> this is so sad. It's like, ah, uh, this is what I get for naming myself this. That's amazing. I just named after the 11th century work, The Tale of Genji. Which is alright. But certainly not, I need Healing Odyssey. I still think that's pretty cool. Thanks. Hey, do you want to sit down? The... The next set is starting soon. Maybe we could watch it together. I, I mean, I'm definitely butchering this accent. Somehow I got Hanzo in control, but I can't do Genji now. Oh, you take a seat next to Genji and watch a few sets. You can't tell if he ever cracks a smile, but he certainly doesn't laugh at any point. You're the energy to bring to a comedy club. But before you can spend too many minutes basking in the awkward silence, keep it your turns bringing you some more helpful advice. Well, what are you waiting for? Show him you can be exciting. Go perform a set. No! Not for free! Are you kidding? My material is totally iconic and I'm not sharing it without pay. Is the payment of love not sufficient for your talents? Love cannot pay my rent! Well, humor me and pretend it can. Look, someone just finished their material. Get up there and impress your date. Uh, well, the person gets off the mic with some paltry claps and no one stands to take their place. You take the initiative to get on stage. Hi, I love the honor to share a joke with you fun people. You look over the audience and you see Genji looking back at you with what well, you would assume it's curiosity. While you could make uh, just any joke, you have to wonder what would make him laugh. Uh, robot ninja cyborgs. Tell the funniest joke you know. You know why not? What is the funniest joke that this man knows? You tap on a mic and the feedback rings in your ears and you lean close. Uh, wait, why did the building get arrested for vandalism? The fuck? The crowd is silent. It was skyscraper. What? What? This is terrible. What? After a... Wait, what, what the fuck is a pregnant pause? It's like, oh my god, like the audience were so pregnated by you and now they're pausing their pregnancy just so they can laugh. Oh, wow. The crowd erupts into a wailing laughter. You told what was truly the funniest joke of all time. You living legend. Everyone will remember you as a genius who reinvented the art of comedy. The, the Genji's just staring there. <gasps> wait, wait, he's actually happy about it? But amongst the crowd, only one person still has been stricken with agonizing amusement. It's Genji. He remains just as still as you left him when you came up on stage. Dude, I think like Genji's definition of a date is that somehow, at least by this standards, he's probably meditating and he hasn't been paying attention this whole time. It's like, oh, I am sorry. I was too busy meditating. Zenyata told me it is good for keeping my head straight. At least that's what I thought he said. 
Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, buddy. Genji, stop sparkling! After signing autographs for the whole club, you return to your seat next to Genji. Wait, why does he get autographs for Mercy Dozen? It's like, oh look! Cool robot tiger bed! He's like, okay. Um. So, what do you think of my joke? Yeah, it, it was pretty funny, I suppose. As he says this, you're watching someone being rolled out of the club in a stretcher, quite literally dying from laughter. If only we had mercy. Galarb, no! But I think there were other jokes you could have told. Maybe ones related to me that would have made me laugh harder. Now! Uh, you wanted me to make a joke about you? I mean... In front of the whole club. Of course! Maybe a long time ago. I would be too insecure my, myself. To take a joke. But now I am happy with who I am. Even when people poke fun at me. I cannot do his accent right now. I was like, oh fuck. How did... It's like... That's the thing. For some reason, I'm kind of awkwardly merging both Mercy and Genji. It's like, they're both different accents. But my brain is like, I don't know. My brain is on autopilot and it kind of sucks at differentiating these two. But I would guess you would couldn't have known that. We just met, didn't we? Oh no! Maybe on our second date, you could learn more about me. Ah, oh, absolutely! <laughs> Look at him! He's a steaming boy! Absolutely, that sounds wonderful, Genji. Genji sighs, a weight leaves his shoulders. I can't wait. Guess I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. Ah, uh, uh, well, um... He leaves, and you're left alone in the comedy club. Not for long, though, as Cupid soon reappears. Hmm. I sense the buds of romance are already beginning to blossom. Uh-huh. And how do you think things went? Oh. I sense there is a room to improve. You focus too often on yourself. More, you show more interest in <laughs> Oh, okay, thanks, Unhinged Hanzo. Wow, you're so helpful. Oh my god. Maybe you should date your own brother if you think you're the expert in this. You focus too often on yourself. Show more interest in him and how he views the world. Okay. What? But good or bad, your date is in the past. We still have a long road ahead of us, if you truly wish for Genji's heart to be yours. Okay, did he even get me where we're going? Oh, we're just going to the same place, huh? Oh yes, the reuse of assets, my favorite. When Genji reaches out to you again, he suggests grabbing dinner for your second date. He even picks out a restaurant. Cafe Azure in Monaco, the exclusive playground to, of the ultra ultra rich. Dude, this is just the high ground for Widowmakers. That's all I know for this place. It's like, oh man, look at this beautiful table, the scenery, the view, the lights. Oh, 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 all right. There's a fucking Widowmaker up there. Oh, that's great. I love being headshot while I'm trying to have a nice dinner, or at least trying to get to my dinner table. It's like, ah, I do not miss. It's like, thanks, Widow. Maybe you should miss a little more often. <laughs> <laughs> ah, luckily, you live in a hopeful future and, you know, the train stuff and whatever. Huh? Genji? Oh, you arrive at the restaurant and it looks as classy as the name implies. A robot brings you to your table where Genji awaits you. Holy shit, the Genji's actually already there! Please tell me he is not wearing the same hoodie he wore in the comedy club. I don't know, Mr. Titty. What do you think? I'd rather him wearing the same hoodie than you showing your titties off to everybody. It is a nice titty. It is honorable for Shamatas to show off their titty. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sure. If I own a hoodie that cool, yeah, I, I probably would do the same. Yeah. I mean, look at it. If I own a hoodie. I'd wear it every chance I could, too. 
Even to a five-star restaurant. Hell yeah, to a five-star restaurant. Especially to the five-star restaurant. Hm. No wonder you need my help. This is your bro. Let your bro wear whatever the fuck he feels like. You take your seat across from Genji, and he seems to light up at your presence. Oh, I need healing. I did not expect to see you here. Uh, you invited me, bro. <laughs> uh, for a date, remember? Oh, yes, I guess so. Anyways, how was the ride over? Uh, much gaming. Definitely not Ocean Horrors. It was great. I have a ton of... Time to grind EXP in... Wait, VV's Adventure Online? The fuck? Oh, wait, no. That's like a reference inside of those arcade machines, isn't it? VV's Adventure Online? That game was pretty fun. Even though I think that VV's Adventure franchise fell a bit after VV 3D. Right? Don't get me started on VV's party dance night. Talk about selling out. I don't know. I mean, the Mario had a DDR franchise for like once. It's like, there, da, why not? Hey. What? Ah, um, editor's note we're begging you not to add DC Overwatch fan wikis. They're not real. Either way, I am glad that you made it. I've really been looking forward to spending more time with you. Ah, I am. Um... Uh, you don't have much time to feel bashful before the waitron returns to your wait returns to your table to take your order. You look over to the hollow menu, which is like a regular menu, but a hologram since it's like the future. You should think carefully about what you order. Maybe choose something he likes as well. The chicken nuggies! Come on, even your dinner is gonna affect this guy's opinion of you. These dating sims are hard work. In that case, what will you order for dinner? Chicken nuggies. The kids menu. <laughs> I'll take the chicken nuggies, please. Before the waitron can process your order, Genji puts his hands up. He also wants chicken nuggies. Oh, they, he doesn't want chicken nuggies. Wait. Oh, he wants chicken nuggies! Hey, let's go! <laughs> Make that dinosaur chicken nuggets. Hi. You didn't know a machine built solely for a positive customer service would look so defeated, but the waitron begrudgingly takes down your order and putters back the kitchen. It takes a very self-assured person to order off the kids' menu at such a fancy restaurant. I respect that greatly. Ah, uh, you don't have the heart to admit that the kids' menu was leagues cheaper than anything else. So you just smile instead. <laughs> yeah, chicken doggy part two! The two of you spend time chatting. After a few short moments, the waitron brings out your meal. Two plates of perfectly golden brown dinosaur nuggets with french fries on the side. Where's my french fries? I see lemon wedges. You wonder if it's a social faux pas to eat french fries in Monaco, but Genji doesn't question it, so you don't either. You're nearly... wait, you nearly dig in, but as you look over at the Cretaceous Park that is in your plate, you feel something is missing. Ketchup? Oh no, they forgot to give me my pterodactyls! You can't believe this! How could they call this place a five-star restaurant and forget your favorite dinosaur? Genji tilts his head. Oh, I could trade you some of mine for your triceratopses if you want. No, that's okay. I'll just grab the waiter. I'll be right back. You fetch the waitron and... Which seems incredibly apologetic for its blunder. To make up for it, you... You're, wait, you're sent back to your table with a full plate of pterodactyl chicken nuggets on the house. When you return to the table, Genji seems completely deflated. You sit across him and he barely even acknowledges your presence. Even Cupid seems troubled by his sudden shift in mood. Oh, he's crying! <laughs> I didn't know Genji could cry. At least on the outside. You would think it would be stuck inside his helmet. Perhaps you should check on him. I need healing. Hey, you, you okay, buddy? Hmm? 
Is everything okay? You seem bummed out, little buddy. Genji shrugs. Sorry. Another dinner reckon. Wait. Wait. Another diner recognized me while you were gone. They came over to talk to me. Oh, did they ask you for autographs or something? No, they actually recognized me from the oh, wait, the Black Watch incident. I I don't know if I can do Genji's voice properly. It's like I try, but my brain cannot get out of it. Aww. I'm like, hey, you're that guy that killed the guy. Aw, Glorb, no. Dude, I feel like you're just pressing the button every time it's available, aren't you? No, they actually recognized me from the Blackwatch incident. They had less kind words to share with me. Oh. What? What's the Blackwatch incident? Oh, you uh, anytime you remember. Also, you still see. Oh. I fixed it. Thank you, Glorb. I forgot I left that on. Oh no! Now he gets depressed though. I am surprised you haven't heard of it. It was international news a few years ago. When I first became a cyborg, I worked for a group called Blackwatch. And Overwatch is... Pl I, I definitely butchering this accent even worse. It's like, how is it I got Hanzo down? But not Genji. Ah. Uh, I worked for a group called Blackwatch. Overwatch's Black Ops Division. Oh. Yes, I hoped we would make the world a better place. But on occasion, we did terrible things to achieve that goal. Until one incident, supposed, exposed our existence to the public, and put an entire organization under immense scrutiny. It seems even now, people had not forgotten what I did, but what we did, what I did. It's okay. You, you didn't kill him, Reaper did. Oh, for... Nah, no, go for the 69, man! If you're gonna go for... 442, that, that's not 420. That's like a 420 cop-out. You might as well, like, go for, like, 4.20 at that point. You have to go all in or not at all. I'm sorry, Genji. I can't believe someone would give you trouble about it here. It is alright. I am not proud of who I was back then. But I will admit it is discouraging. What the... Wait, did I accidentally press the skip button? What the fuck happened? Huh? No, oh, there's not even a log thing! Um... Beat up whoever was mean to him! Hold his hand? Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh. Book? No, 420, man. 420! You will reassure him, why not? Hey, I know you've been working hard to be a better person, and I know that you became a wait, you came a long way from who you were before. So don't let anyone else get to you. As long as you uh you're getting better, who cares about what anyone thinks? Especially that guy telling you to switch off Genji because you're not helping! Yeah, fuck that guy. You will use Genji. You will get those 0k blades. And you'll tell them to suck it. Aw, Genji seems touched by your words. Sure, maybe you plagiarized them from the back of a self-help book. But he's not your high school English teacher. So it's enough to get him smiling again. I guess, if you can see through that mask of his. I suppose that is true. Although... Even if I do not care what they think. I still care what you think. I need healing. So, thank you. Uh, yep, I definitely butchered it again. Of course, Genji. Anytime. Let's eat. Hmm? Oh, our food is getting cold. The two of you finally can enjoy your night. As is supposed to be something something. And I forgot I was supposed to use the weird cringy voice for this one. Um... Uh, the two of you finally enjoying your night as it was supposed to go. You don't know how Genji eats with his mask on. But every time you look away, more food disappears from his plate. So you just assume it's getting into his mouth one way or another. By the time you're done eating, Genji seems happier than ever. And you're glad the evening is going in a more positive direction. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. Go. 
how would you feel about going somewhere special for our next date? Uh, where? You want to go back home, buddy? Sure, we're anywhere that's special to you is special to me, I guess. That one doesn't end you earning points with Genji, but it makes him blush, and... Isn't that worth more than any kind of gameplay progression? Fuck you! I was hoping we can go somewhere that is really special to me. How would you feel about a trip to Nepal? Oh, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, we can visit your dad. Let's go visit your, uh, your quote-unquote dad. Uh, sure. What's in Nepal? Your daddy? Ah, uh, yes. You can visit my daddy anytime. He is a very nice dad. Better than mine. Who told my brother to kill me. I killed you out of honor for our family. And how did that go, Hanzo? I feel bad. Yeah, that's what I thought, Hanzo. You really should not be killing people. Especially not me. Now I need constant healing. Mm. I will... I will keep this in mind. So what's so special about Nepal? It was a very important place in my growth as a person. This may surprise you, but an isolated mountaintop helped me find peace. There's more to it, obviously. But I figured I could explain when we got there. Ah, sure, I can't wait to hear all about your backstory. Okay, I'll see you there. I hope it will be very special. Oh, I had a lot of fun tonight. Thank you again, I need healing. <laughs> you're welcome, buddy. Genji departs in the restaurant and you're left alone. Well, as alone as you can be when you're haunted by the vessels of Valentine's. Another day done. With the wait, with the third to come. Most impressive, I need healing. Thanks. How do you think Genji and I were doing? You were close to his heart, but you have not reached it yet. Keep trying to put him. First, whenever possible. Why are you trying to hit me up with your bro? Isn't that kind of weird? But there is still another date in your future. Do you? No, I do what you can to prepare. I sense this one will be the most important of all. Okay. Bye bye. Weirdo. Oh. Oh, I guess this is drawn. Kind of looks like you just ripped it out of the game, though. Which is. It would be kind of weird. You ascend the snowy mountains in Nepal, and the cold rudely seeps through every layer of the clothing you wore. Hard to believe that just a few days ago you were telling jokes in a comedy club, and now this is what's expected of you to keep this relationship going. As you're trudging along, Cupid appears again. Thankfully, you know his deal by now, or what you think you were seeing through... Wait, seeing... Wait. Or you think you were saying things thanks to the hyperthermia. I need healing. I need to stress how important this date would be. Clearly, you are important to Genji. You know, my not brother. And he would not have brought you here otherwise. So, just be sure you do your very best this time. Thanks. I thought you didn't like Genji. Uh, you know when we first met, you you don't like Genji's. Well, well, I do believe he is foolish and stubborn and immature and vain. You have reminded me that there is a good side to him as well. That isn't a playboy. <laughs> oh, he said. And well, that good side is buried, very, very, very deep beneath his flaws. It is there nonetheless. So I must thank you. Truly. Ah, uh, Cupid. You sounding all sappy. Don't tell me this is a teaser for the secret Cupid path in this dating sim. Don't be ridiculous. If there was a secret Cupid path, do you truly think I would advertise it so freely? Besides, a path of that nature would be difficult to unlock. You would need to say successfully win the hearts of both heroes to show your commitment to love. Uh, isn't it cheating though? Wait, that's not essentially cheating mercy. 
That's fine. We can have a three-way. Hypothetically, of course. Of course, hypothetically. But enough of the hypotheticals. You have a date to go. Hurry up now. Oh, it's Cupid's vote of confidence. You continue your journey up the mountain. Eventually, you arrive in a quaint little village. Genji is there to greet you. Honestly, you don't understand why you can't travel together. I need healing. You made it. What do you think of the hike? Um... It is cold, my ass is freezing, and I do not like it. Oh, it was a breeze. I climbed the mountain all the time. No big deal. Oh, you climb a lot? I appreciate that. Ninjas are big into climbing, apparently. It is good to know you can keep up. Anyways, I am glad that you are here. This place is very special to me, and I hope that I can show you why. Come for a walk with me? Okay. Gladly, you take Genji's arm. He leads you all around the village, and you can't help but bask in every sight. It's truly beautiful. Certainly not the kind of place you'd want to host a 5v5 king of a hill combat match. But what's more beautiful than the village itself was the way Genji glows while wait, taking you through it, recounting the memories of the time he spent here. He tells you everything, from the story of how he first arrived here to the tale of his most trying meditations. After strolling for a while, Genji takes you to an old accommodation that housed him through his time in Nepal. Though he has been absent for some time, the rules is still clearly his. There's an old mattress, a hari. And there is his brother! He is a son of a bitch! <laughs> and a framed photo of Genji with his brother taken years ago that seemed... Wait, actually, it doesn't really look like either of them. It's like Genji's all like, you know, he has his giant mask thing and Hanzo... I don't know, he looked weird. Genji goes to say something, but someone else speaks first. Genji, you have arrived. Is that Zenyatta? Here he yo. Wow, your, your head is so large. I hope you have a safe journey, my student. Is that Zenyatta? How sad is it that the only place you get Zenyatta content these days is the explicitly non-canon fading sim, and that is a short story. Well, maybe some things will happen when that Ramatra guy soon, who knows, is like... Ah, oh, Ramatra, it has been so long. Do you want to have the gaze with me? <laughs> and like, what the fuck? What have these humans done to you? We don't do the gaze! We're robots, we can't even be gay! Everything is nothing! It's like, do you want to do the love with me? That I'm fine with. It's like, yeah, they can have love, but it's not gay or straight or anything because they're non-gendered robots. Yeah, well, technically they both go by him, but the... Okay, if, if two robots that clearly do not have any genitalia or sexuality or sex... Okay, it's sex. They probably have a sexuality. Okay, so... They both go by guy. But if somehow they both fall in love with each other, does that make them gay because they both go by guy? Is like, this guy is a he. This guy is a he. They are now gay. Oh. Gay robots. <laughs> the gay robots are real. <laughs> <laughs> There has to be an Omnic that fell in love with another Omnic, right? Or maybe they're... Hmm. Yeah. But then what would what would it be if like both of the robots go by they? How fucking deep are we going with this? I need to know! It's like, hmm, we're saying this inside of the dating sim? Hmm, what happens if we have Zenyatta and Ramacha make love with each other? Oh, how scandalous would that be? It's not canonical, by the way. In both sense, in terms of fucking... <laughs> okay. Well, I would assume that if it, the Ramatra goes by him, Zenyatta goes by him, and thus, if they do the thing, which I guess they kind of can and can't, what would fucking be in terms of robot? I don't even think they can fuck. It's like, neither of us has the parts that the humans call for fucking. It's like, you are right, Ramatra. How do we fuck? We don't... <laughs> They need to just stare longingly into their eyes. It's like, 
When some people go like, ew, they're hand holding, like as if they were kind of doing it in the street. It's like, maybe it's like that. It's like, oh god, they're staring at each other. They're fucking with their eyes. It's like, mmm. They're sending binary code in their eye retinas and sending them to each other. And they end up with a sense of fucking. I am going way too deep into this, aren't I? Well, yeah, well, what, what would it be if both Omnics go by they, but they fuck somehow? What is that? They would uh, create them, and then their code doesn't have the capacity to understand what it is. <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. It's like, oh, wow, we have experienced something new. Isn't this amazing? It's like, okay. Not yet, anyways. Aw. One day, robots can fuck. I don't know what it entails, but something, something, the robots fuck. I like how Zenyatta's just being cute and sparkly over there. It's like, would you like to see my balls? Yeah, sure, sure, why not, Zenyatta? Zenyatta has big ass head. Master, it is good to see you again. Indeed, I heard that you were bringing a visitor. I hope I could meet them. Oh, of course! I need healing! This is my master, Zenyatta! Ah, oh, you would be surprised if someone is trying to figure that out. <laughs> sex bot, theory come. I mean, there are like probably. Well, then again, we already have sex bots. They're, they're just like, you know. They're just there to emulate the wee wee, but for humans instead of with each other. But I guess one day they will do it with each other, but they probably wouldn't have the interest of doing it with each other because they want to. It's like, we programmed you to fuck because we can't hire the prostitutes to dance for us anymore. Or something like that. Or was it the strippers? Oh yeah, right. We forgot to hire the... Wait. Yeah, technically they could both be opposite. Well, not opposite. It's like, they're both different categories. You got strippers, you got the prostitutes. And then you got the middle ground, which is the stripper mob prostitutes. It's like, oh. I don't know. Is, is Twitch gonna kill me because I mentioned both strippers and prostitutes in the same sentence and I won't shut up now? I was like, yeah, this is the one. This gremlin won't shut up. I'm trying to make a point. You know, like in the, in the video games, there's like those robots that do the humpy humpy dance. <laughs> yeah. See, if, if they're allowed to show the humpy humpy dance on stream, I'm allowed to mention the word prostitutes and strippers. Oh, pleasurable. Oh, wait. I mean, you could try to send a signal, like, kind of like how if you treat a doggo and you keep giving them the treats, their brain will end up being a little bit hardwired to go like, treats? Good. Do thing is good because I get treats. If they made it, they're gonna be in a sense. I don't know if the robots would feel pleasure. I guess you could, like, make a variable and the robot likes it when the variable is true, but it's only true when it's doing the thing. It's like... I like it when this variable is true. Okay, it is false now. I am feeling the sad, apparently. Ah, oh, the doggo treat. Ah. Uh, so if they keep getting the good result, they keep trying to aim for that good result. Which is kind of neat. Ah, uh, you were ready for a trek through the snow-covered mountains, but this is basically like meeting Genji's parents. Is that weird for a third date? It doesn't matter, it's happening now, yeah, it's up to you to deal with it. It's like, this is my daddy, Zenyatta. Say hi to daddy Zenyatta for me, would you? No! Ah, give him a fist bump, hell yes! Ah, good result thinking can apply to human. If you tried hard enough, still a bit like being using a microscope to hammer a nail sideways. Damn. Fist bump the Zenyatta! You reach your closed fist out to wait. Wait, you you reach your closed fist out for the metal monk, and to your utmost surprise, he hits you with the sickest fist bump you ever experienced. Absolutely radical! A pleasure. I need healing. I am glad to see you have survived your journey here. Ah, you were going to ignore the threatening aura of the sentence and let him keep talking. It is rare for Genji to have company here. I sense he must be quite fond of you. Oh, I certainly hope so. Master, you are embarrassing me. I am sure your companionship will mean a great deal to him. 
He is still struggling to accept himself. Perhaps the acceptance of another will help him along his path. You never realize how much of your company means to Genji. To think, just a few nights ago you were planning to enjoy the comedy stylings of literally anyone in New York by yourself. Now it's entirely possible that changing the life of an Overwatch agent... Oh my god, it's like whenever you got that one bad guy and they're like, Oh my god, if I was there, I would change them for the better and you're actually doing it. Has extremely large head. Yeah, um, I think they ripped the chibi model, but the problem with the chibi models is that they have freakishly large heads. Not even chibi level large head. Weird blizzard level large head. Like, if they shrink the head a little bit, that would be acceptable for a chibi. But this chibi... Yeah, his head just doesn't look right. I think it's because they have too much of the vertical and not enough horizontal. If his head was a little wider, it would be a little better. He needs a little wide in him, okay? Like, dummy thick, but for his head. I believe... Master? I sense I have surpassed my annual screen time allotment. I am afraid I will need to depart. God damn it! But please take my greatest blessings and enjoy the remainder of your time here. Bison! <laughs> damn. It's kinda nice when you have meta commentary like this. It's like, we know you're a bunch of salty freaks. Here you go, you salty Zenyatta mains. The two of you say goodbye to Master Zenyatta, and when you're left alone, Genji previously exuberance is gone and replaced with contemplation? Something on your mind, Genji? Just thinking about what my master said. He was being truthful, you know. Spending time with you has done a lot to help in my own sense of self. But I have to wonder. I need healing. Do you think that it's really possible to know your true self? Wow, to be honest, that's far deeper question than you ever would have expected from the silly dating sim you signed up for. Give me a second, I need to wink. My gamer throat is dying. It's not even gamer throat, it's streamer throat. Caricature of a narcissist? Maybe. Genji is definitely a very weird one. I mean, he means well. He seems like a nice guy. However, um... Yeah, Overwatch is probably a cesspool of narcissists if you go over there. Actually, it's probably the narcissist that screams the loudest. It's like, excuse me, why didn't you res me? Hello, I'm over here. I could've won us the game. If you rest me... It's like, one, look at where your body is. Two, fuck you. It's like, ugh, I hate our healers. They're playing the easiest hero and they can't even do healing? Like, oh my god. It's like, why? Why do these people exist? Well then again, you have it for every category. It's like, we lost because our tank is being diffed. It's like... Okay, could you shut up? We're, I'm trying to enjoy my video game, I don't need this commentary. Uh, tempted to say in their face, I could care less. Yeah, yeah, that would probably help. But the only problem is that some people do suggest that you ignore them and hope they shut up. It's like, ignore, report, hope that they get banned at some point. It's like, this is not the kind of energy we need. The thing is, I don't think you run into the good vibes as much as you run into the really salty vibes. It's like, uh... Like, that's the thing. Everyone in the role can technically be put at fault. Because, you know, they, they, they want someone to take the fall for the entire game loss. It's like, it is not me. I'm not the problem. My problem is that you're not enabling me. Our DPS isn't even getting shot. Like, excuse me? Is it? Okay, the thing is, they don't sound like that. They sound a lot more angry and toxic and... Uh, probably not like a weird sassy lady. But then again... Yeah, I guess it would be kind of funny if you just heard a weird, sassy lady for no reason. Ah, uh, you came this far, right? What's the harm in one more question? And that really is one more. I believe this will be your last chance to win Genji's heart. I need healing. Use it wisely. Um, well, what do you think? Can one know their true self? 
I don't care. I don't show where I, but you could try. Yes, they can. It's the it's the journey, Genji. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you maybe not. And I think it's worth it to try to find out who you really are. Like maybe maybe Genji, you're not good at blading, but that's okay. You're maybe a tank or a support. It's okay to not be the Genji you wanted to be. One day you could come back and take all that you have learned and use that on Genji. Otherwise, what's the point at all? Oh, he's depressed again. I think you might be right. You know, when I ended up like this, with my brother. Oh boy. He trails off. Cupid watches him intently. His brow knit with pain. Oh. I felt so much guilt. I would look at myself every day and despise the person looking back at me. But as much as it hurts, I had to look or else I would not have grown into who I was. Perhaps I will never know my true self. But you're right. I must always try to see who I really am. Thank you, I need healing. I'm glad that you feel the same way. I need healing. I really enjoyed spending so much time with you. It has been a long time since I allowed myself to get close to anyone. But I must admit. Admit what, Genji? I feel some guilt that I you have not seen the real me. Oh, oh are you gonna are you gonna show me your mask? Hmm? <laughs> ah! So the galar, I'm gonna guess no one thyself is about as hard as finding the theory of everything. It's like what's the meaning to life? There is none. Congratulations. Is there such thing as a god? That's up to you to decide. But it's more so of whether or not God is true in definition to yourself or whether or not you can prove that he exists or she or they or whatever it is. If anything, if science is anything to go by, the space dust that are lingering in the sky, that is probably the closest thing to God we're ever going to get for now. It's like, ah yes, all hail the almighty space dust that has created us into being. Oh. But yeah. I mean, believe in whatever you feel like, as long as you're not hurting others, and as long as it helps you grow as a person. Like, in a way, sure, religion is, um, you know, sometimes it could be good, sometimes it could be bad, but as long as religion is there to help you grow as a person, and, you know, keeps you on the path that, you know, most people consider as right, then they are, they could go ahead, keep believing in the gods. If that is what makes you happy and sane on the inside, then, oh, you know what? Go, go ahead. Yeah, here you go. There, it makes you happy, and that's all that matters. As long as you don't join a cult. Because that is false happiness, and that is not cool. It preys upon your emotions, damn it. You're a bit confused. You're pretty sure you've enjoyed three dates with the real him. But before you can ask, he clarifies. Oh, no. We have been spending so much time together. And you've only seen me with my mask on. And although my mask is extremely epic, it is not the true me. It is really cool though. Oh, I, I think they're gonna juke me. They're gonna go like, oh, we're gonna sh- oh, oh, you gotta pay for it. You gotta pay to have his mask off. I know, right? But still. Genji takes it. <laughs> Genji takes your hand into his. His green visor stares back at you and you wonder what his eyes might look beneath it. I need healing. Can I show you who I really am? Absolutely! <laughs> of course, I love you, Genji. Not really, but I want to see that mask of yours. Genji puts his hands over his heart, shocked but not at all disappointed in your confession. After returning to reality, he chuckles under his breath. It is funny. I, it seems that I could deflect anything but love. And beams. But mostly love. <laughs> I was like, I cannot deflect the Zarya beams. They are hurting me. Yeah, that that's... Oh no, the Symmetra beam is also hurting me. Why pay to take the mask off? If somebody probably made the art with his mask off. Yeah, that is true. But also in the cinematic, he does take his mask off. But um, he looks like a fucking zombie. I was like, ta-da, this is what you made me, Hanzo. Hanzo, you see my face. It is ugly. That is... 
That is most unfortunate. Yeah, I wonder why it looks so bad. Oh, that's right, you killed me! <laughs> ah. God damn it! It's like, that are you can see him! Why does he look so chonky? It's the hoodie, isn't it? <laughs> How dare they give us the... Ah. Oh. Horrifically desiccated skin? Okay, um, Galore, if you have YouTube open, search up Overwatch Dragon Cinematic, I think. If you need to, like, if you don't want to watch all of it, just skip near the end. Where it's like, only a Shimada can wield the dragon. And then Genji's like, he takes off his mask, he's like, I am a Shimada, bitch. He's like, Genji is alive. How could this be? I have been coming here every year to honor your death. Yeah, you killed me, you son of a bitch. Pulled up the private window in case YouTube he tries to suggest you Overwatch. It's like, ah, yes, would you like Overwatch R34? We know how much of you love it. Luckily, I haven't even ran into that weird side of Overwatch. It's like, ugh. I do not want to see it in the YouTubes, thank you. The last thing I need is for weird sexualized Overwatch characters. It's bad enough I have to look at Widowmaker's normal butt. The normal one. It's like, I don't want this. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, with great care, Genji reaches his mask. Though he hesitates, he eventually builds the strength to remove it. Showing you his true face beneath. <laughs> Genji, you are beautiful. No, he has scars on his face for no reason. Why does he have scars on his face for no reason? Oh, Genji, you're beautiful. If you believe so. Then it must be true. It took me a long time to come to terms with who I am now. Knowing you accept me makes me confident. It was worth it all this time. I know my true self loves you, too. I need healing. <laughs> I fucked it. <coughs> Let me a second, I need to wake again. Yes, Hanzo, I could hear you blooping in the background. You have embarked on the journey of love and found what you desire at the end. Love takes many forms, but it is always true. May you cherish this love with Genji forever and always. Yay! I love you more than Junkrat loves bombs. What? What does that have to do with anything? Oh, well, we did it. We got... We got Genji. There, Genji is ours. Do, do I get a special ending with Hans or no? Oh no, it is real! Hold on! Wait a moment, I need healing. Where am I? It is I! You can find this one! I don't want you or your titties! I have very nice Shimata branded titties. They can be yours if you fall in love with me. Now, you are. This is just your house. This is not the realm of love. This is your house. It's like, ah, oh, yes. I would want you to do the sexy fun time with me in my, my um. What do you call this place? This mansion? I forgot what the Shimada's place is. Residency? That that doesn't sound sexy. It's like, I want to do it with you in my residency. That sounds very unappealing. Thank no no fuck you. No no thank you. Fuck you. What's that? You are in the realm of love. Yeah, it looks a lot like that one 2 CP map, you know the one you removed? What a map? You know the old game mode! For the before times! Can you pause your brilliant wit for just a second, please? No. Galarb, no. Wait a moment, one more comment. <sighs> get out of... Wait, get it out of your system. This dating is almost too easy. Is this a secret ending? Will you be adding more heroes? Can I date you? Is this the secret ending? You would find out faster if you let me finish. Anyways, before you give away the secret of this dating sim on the internet, I must confess. Your devotion to running the 
respect and trust of these heroes is admirable. Not only have you brought love into their hearts, but to mine as well. Aww. But no, don't greet me with the arrow. It's like, hey there, honey. This is my pointy bit. You want it? No, 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 no. Have this as a token of my respect. Um, can, can you give it to me the other way around, you know, so you don't impale me? Cupid hands you an arrow from his quiver. You take his gift. Um, I don't know what to say, except, um... Uh... Yeah, oh my god, I actually love Hanzo! Yeah, definitely don't hate him whenever he headshots me from across the fucking map! You are my soulmate all along! Oh. I thought it was impossible for Cupid to find true love. But you made the impossible possible. Oh no. Hey, should you be shooting me with this arrow? Oh, there is no need. You have already pierced my heart without it. You mean your titty? Yay, we did it. We swooned Hanzo. I mean, it, it does mean that they could potentially make one with like, you know, Every other character. You want to swoon Roadhog? You can swoon Roadhog, but you're gonna have an awful time. Maybe I should just stare at all the characters and, like, question on how swoonable any of them are. It's like, is this man swoonable? What about this one? Aw, Tyop. Akapara. I don't know who those are, but you know what? They did good. They did good. Overwatch team, narrative. Everyone supporting Overwatch 2. What the fuck is this? Big Noodle! Too oblique! Okay. Oh, Nani Novel. Uh, I never heard of that one, but they do have Unity. Do I got anything now? Ah, to you from Cupid Hanzo. Thanks. Do I get something now? Hey, I got Cupid Hanzo! Now I can go and actually play Overwatch instead of this game! Well, that, that was something. Um, wait, actually, let's see. It would be like that, right? Did I do the thingy right? Oh no, is my OB OBS? OBS. Oh good, it's not dead. I thought it died, but he's just fine. He's just a little drunk. A little hungry boy. Well, we did it. We have swooned both Mercy and Genji. Does this change my stance oh, on either of them? Consume my CP, regardless. Not really.